Well, hello, and welcome to Tritronics here in warm, sunny Florida. My name is Bob Warner, and together with Tim Kelly and Dave Mellish, we're going to present to you for the first time the high-performance SmartEye Mark III photoelectric sensor. Please note that the SmartEye Mark III is the first high-performance photoelectric sensor in a truly miniature size that you can use anywhere for any task, including your toughest industrial sensing applications. The Mark III is loaded with features and benefits never before offered in a miniature sensor, including extremely high gain and high speed of response. High gain enables the sensor to resolve the most difficult low contrast sensing tests. High speed of response provides resolution of the exact position of objects traveling at high speeds. Let's review the SmartEye Mark III's features and benefits. There are nine interchangeable optical blocks for the Mark III SmartEye. The O4 short range procs. The O5 long range procs. The V4 one inch convergent. The V6 1.5 inch convergent. The V8 0.5 inch convergent. The R4 retro reflective to be used with a reflector. The R5 polarized retro reflective. The F4 glass fiber optic block. And the F5 plastic fiber optic block. The O-rings serve a two-fold purpose. First, they keep moisture and condensation from building up in the lens. Second, they act as an aperture to help focus the light. The Mark III comes in both the cableized version with a six and a half foot cable and the quick disconnect version with a four pin European connector. Let's take a look at the face of the Mark III SmartEye. It comes equipped with a beam status indicator an EDR indicator and an output indicator. There's an easy access slide to open window that helps to protect and identify the LEDs. The Mark III has a 10 LED contrast indicator and a 10 turn clutch pod as well as a light dark output switch. When you slide the window open you now have access to the potentiometers and can make offset and output changes. As you adjust the offset counterclockwise, you are turning down the power of the sensor and this will cause the EDR light to get brighter. This helps with background suppression and to prevent dark state saturation. Adjusting the offset clockwise will increase the power of the sensor and decrease the effect of the EDR circuit. See how the indicator eventually fades out? The light dark switch is a rotary switch with a 270 degree turn radius. It is not clutched. Turn the switch until it stops to make your changes. When you turn the switch to the dark setting, it turns on the output LED when the contrast indicator goes down below the switching point of the number 5. Notice that the output LED is turning on opposite that of the beam status indicator. Turning the light dark switch to the light position will cause the output indicator to turn on at the same time as the beam status indicator. When the sensor receives light that causes the contrast indicator to go up above the number 5, we get both the beam status and the output indicators to light. Our Mark II SmartEye is a very powerful sensor and is able to solve most applications that require a photoelectric device. However, as you can see, when you need several Mark IIs on a machine, they can take up a considerable amount of space. The Mark III SmartEye is just as powerful a performer as the Mark II, yet you can fit several in a small space. This smaller contrast indicator is visible at long distances. The Mark III is compatible with the Mark II in the areas of specifications and connectivity. However, we would like to stress that the Mark III is not a replacement for the Mark II, but is simply an enhancement in packaging. The specifications for the Mark III SmartEye are as follows. The supply voltage is 12 to 24 volts DC. It has both the NPN and PNP outputs. It comes equipped with a light dark switch. The response time is 50 microseconds. 
The LED light sources are red, infrared, green, blue, and the very first white LED in the industry. It comes equipped with an EDR offset adjustment that functions as a sensitivity adjustment. And there are four LED indicators for ease of setup. The DRB1 DIN rail bracket can easily be mounted to a DIN rail with a snap. It provides quick installation and removal of the Mark III Smart Eye. The DRB1 can also be installed at the sensing site using two of the four mounting holes provided. This also allows for quick and easy installation and removal of the Mark III Smart Eye. The SEB3 Smart Eye bracket is a stainless steel L-shaped bracket for mounting the Mark III Smart Eye at the sensing site. There are four holes for mounting the Smart Eye to the bracket and two holes for mounting the bracket to a stable surface. The BX10 and BX25 are interconnecting cables that are 10 and 25 feet long respectively. Both have male and female connectors. The female end plugs into the sensor and the male end plugs into the power cable. This helps to extend your sensor several feet away from your power supply. These are the BRSEC-6 right angle connector and the BSEC-6 straight. The black cable has a smaller outside diameter and is very flexible. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. For additional questions or information, please contact Tritronics at 1-800-237-0946 or visit our website at ttco.com.